Hey there, lovely class. Welcome to week eight. Now, time is going by so, so quickly. If you guessed last week that I was at the Taj Mahal in India, then yes, you were correct. Well done. I did visit India and the Taj Mahal with Mrs. Smith a couple of years ago. So awesome for guessing that. Now, this week's location, a bit of a tricky one. Not too tricky if you've been listening to what I've been talking about with my brother coming to visit soon and where I went in December last year. Um, this is the place where my brother actually lives at the moment. And I would have mentioned it quite a few times in the classroom. And we know that he's coming over Easter weekend and he'll come for a visit in 3G. So this is the flag for this location. This is a place that I visited when I went there. And we got to see the Longhorn cattle walk down the road. And it was fantastic. Here are a few more photos. Um, there's a big clue here in case you're a little confused. Um, this is a photo of my family when we were over in this location for my brother's wedding. This here is my brother. There's Mrs. Grinsel. There's my brother's wife, Brooke. There I am as a bridesmaid. And there's Mr. Grinsel, for those of you who haven't seen him before. And here's a photo of, um, there's me as a bridesmaid. There's Brooke, who we'll meet very soon. And the other bridesmaids celebrating the wedding. So write the location in the comments below, see how you go. This week, uh, we're going to be looking at adjectives. Now, we've been writing creative text, we've been writing some narratives, and we know that adjectives and nouns are very important in our narratives. What you're going to have a go at this week is write a couple of sentences where you use two adjectives to describe a noun separated by a comma in a list. Now, this is an example here. He placed a large shaggy paw on the muddy leaf-covered ground. So I want to show you here, the noun is Paul, and there are two adjectives here separated by a comma, large and shaggy. Both of them give us more information about the paw and help us to really picture what that paw looks like. And they're separated in the middle by a comma. Here's another example. The noun is ground, and the two adjectives separated by this comma right here are muddy and leaf covered. So it gives you a really good description of what that ground was like. It doesn't just say he placed a paw on the ground. You can really picture it because you know the paw is large and shaggy and you know the ground was muddy and leaf covered. Here's another example to have a look at before you try your own. He tiptoed through the dark, misty forest, making his way towards the enormous mossy tree. Now have a think. I hope that you can spot the noun here, forest. And then the two adjectives separated by the comma, dark and misty. And then see if you can spot the next one, tree. And the two adjectives separated by the comma, enormous and mossy. And there's the comma in the middle there. So your task is to write a couple of sentences, and in each of those sentences, you're going to have a noun and two adjectives to describe that noun, separated by the comma. And that's really going to help us as we come into NAPLAN and as we come to write our um, text that we've been working on. It's going to help make them really descriptive. So you can submit that via Seesaw. It's OK if you just want to submit it on paper. Um, it's also all right if you want to email those sentences through to me. So whatever's easiest for you is fine, as long as you get somewhere between one to five, depending on how you go, how much time it takes you. Um, and that will be great. So see how you go. Good luck with those very descriptive sentences, and I'll see you soon.